This is the story behind the consumption of dog meat. Oh, that is so good. A century-old tradition practiced in the mountainous regions of the Philippines. But the consumption of dog meat raises complex ethical and moral questions that continue to stir debate and controversy. Despite the controversy, the tradition of eating dog meat still persists in some hidden rural parts of the Philippines. It's an issue that highlights the tension between cultural traditions and changing social norms. Today we are exploring some of the lesser known alleys and food spots of Baguio. Places that have adopted to new laws and regulations that now serve their own meaty delicacies and dishes that mine workers and truckers alike pilgrimage to day after day to get their Filipino food fix. Welcome to Katipunan, a very local restaurant, a very special place that caters to a lot of the truckers and the miners that work in the surrounding areas and this is the place to come to to re-energize, to get some food. We're gonna try some very unique food dishes to Baguio right here, I'm super excited. We're here with our friends from the Roof Deck Kitchen, Shady the Mountain Man, Lily and Aro are here. You guys remember all of these beautiful people from the last Baguio series and also here in the vlog today, beautiful Gray and beautiful Jay. Hi, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Yes, yes, very, very nice. <laughs> So we're trying ping 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 is uh, <laughs> it's actually pork chicks. Dila is tongue, and then I think Paolo prepared for us uh, kining kining is smoked pork. Oh, nice. And also uh, sungo sungo is snout. So okay. let's try that out. At Katipunan, this is a place where uh, the miners and bus drivers really get their comfort food. This is where they eat, this is where they drink before and after they go to work. Hello, very nice to meet you. Hello. Uh, here's where the magic happens. <laughs> While we wait for the main dishes, some soup came out, some tzabao. Oh, that is rich. That is so nice. Nice and hot. Perfect thing for cool weather in Baguio. This ping ping chicks is beef, not pork. So here we have this beautiful dish of pork tongue with it seems to be like leeks on top. Leeks, leeks soy sauce. And then over here we have the beef cheeks. I'm excited for this because beef cheeks is one of my favorite things to eat. Four dishes came out, the tripe and the pork snout. Yes. It all looks very, very delicious. Finally here we have kini ing, which is uh, a broth, a soup with smoked pork inside. We're going to start off trying the pork snout. Beautiful little piece here with a bit of rice. It's very soft, gelatinous, very mild flavor. So I think we've got to get some soy sauce on there as well. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, that just sucks up the chili and the soy sauce. Nice and spicy, savory, really good. It's like comfort food. That tastes just like bone scissor <laughs> So good. Okay, next up I'm gonna try what I'm probably most excited for and it is the beef cheek. And usually beef cheeks tends up to be a very expensive dish to eat in a restaurant because of the amount of effort it takes into cooking this correctly. Oh, that is so good. Mm. That is so soft, so tender, so jam-packed with flavor. Honestly, this tastes like it comes from like a really expensive Italian restaurant some, somewhere in uh, Venice. Wow, that is amazing. That is so good. All right, next up I'm going to try the uh, pig tongue. Also looks really good. Oh, that is good. That is so tender, flavorful. I love the texture of it. I love the flavor. So, so good. Strongly rivals the beef cheeks as well. So, so good. Actually, this place is Sagitingan Barangay. And the most commonly known place here or street is the Lakandula Street. And now, this area, we usually call it the Back Street. Mm -hmm. They'll ask, why is that place? Usually we say the Back Street or Likod ng Center Mall. There's no exact location or landmark. That's why this is kind of secret place. Secret spot. Yeah. But mostly the locals know this place because this area is known to be the meeting area or place of the packet miners and also the farmers. This is where they usually meet and hang up and eat our local delicacies and then as well as to drink beer and most especially gin. Oh nice. Before local, local gin? 
yeah, it's our local brand. It's Ginebra San Miguel. Nice. Well, Paolo, I've, I've already tasted uh, a few of the dishes and it is so, so good. So well prepared. Thank you so much. This is amazing. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're always welcome here in Katipunan. <laughs> I think next I want to try the smoked pork. As soon as I stuck the fork into this, it started falling apart already. So very, very tender. Oh, that is packed with flavor. Wow. Smoky, dark, rich, pokey. Mmm. That's very good. Okay, what are you trying? It's the ox tripe, right? Mm -hmm. The ox tripe. Walia. Right? My favorite. Yeah? yeah? It's my favorite. You like it more than the tongue? I like it more than the tongue, yeah. Nice. I was perfectly paired with this because Paolo said that they just boiled the... They just boiled everything and add some salt in. Don't That's watercress. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's just what we do with it. So it's perfectly paired with something to dip it in. Soy sauce, calamansi, and chili. Okay, let me give this a try as well. I'm always excited to try unique cuts of meat that sometimes in Western culture just goes to waste. I know in Austria we do eat a lot of tripe as well. Mm. Uh, we call them kutlen. Kutlen. Yeah. Yeah, very similar texture. Flavor is really good. In Austria, they chop it down to smaller pieces even. This trip to Baggio City has been another eye-opening one. The culture of eating dog meat might seem strange or even shocking to foreigners and pet owners. But one must not forget the historical origin and spiritual significance for the Ifugao and other tribes of the Cordilleras. Not only does dog meat find its roots in their traditions, it also played a major role in their survival and hunting habits. Ultimately, dog meat has been banned in the Philippines since 1982 due to the associated health and food safety risks. And again, in 1998 via the Animal Welfare Act due to animal cruelty concerns. The bottom line is society always needs to keep an open mind when it comes to deeply rooted traditions as what might seem brutal or cruel to one culture might be delicacy to another. Any foie gras or mass meat produce eaters out there? This is another very unique food spot here in Baguio City and it seems that every time I come to Baguio these guys show me new very exciting and unique places and I never run out of new foods to try like I never thought I'd have an amazing beef cheek dish here in Baguio so really excited for it. I'm excited for some more food exploration actually today we're going to be cooking together on the roof deck kitchen which I'm very, I'm more excited about that than the whole flower festival and everything. That, that is the real reason that I like to come to Baguio, to hang out with these guys. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's vlog, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you're new, if you have any unique spots that you want me to try in Baguio City, please do let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I'll be coming back by the end of this month to watch more of the festivities during the flower festival. You guys enjoy the food? Very yeah. much, yes. yes. Very nice. Very nice. Of course. <laughs> All right, with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow, same time, same pleasure, to stay awesome, be positive, and make it happen. Bye bye.